All right, this is going to be kind of a fun one. This is a 10-acre tract in Shannon County, Missouri. It is nestled in between um, some pretty cool stuff. So let's take a look at this. The property is here in the middle of the screen. It's outlined in red. Um, to the east, about an eighth of a mile to the east, you have the Rocky Creek Conservation Area. This particular section of the conservation area is about 3,000 acres, and that's open uh, for public hunting, uh, for trail riding and recreation. Um, all fantastic. If you go to the west about a mile, uh, this is the Jack's Fork River. Right here, this is Chalk Bluff overlooking the Jack's Fork River. And the shaded purple area is the Ozark National Scenic Riverway, which is uh, a federal scenic easement they enacted, I don't know when, decades ago, to protect and preserve um, a very limited number of, of rivers here in the Ozarks, one of them being the Jack's Fork River right here. Um, so very naturally beautiful, uh, has that the scenic easement in place, basically, so it always will be. Uh, and you've got that, like I said, just about a mile or less to the west of the property. And uh, let's zoom in here, if I can get this to work. This is the MapRite interactive map, um, which we use on, on just about every property now. And that's showing the tract. The yellow lines are the easement roads uh, at Chalk Bluff. Uh, the blue lines indicate uh, creek beds. And there does happen to be a little creek bed which borders the, the west side or the southwest side of this property. Um, let's go to Topo map here. Topos are so helpful. Okay, so what we have here, if you look at the property, um, this northeast side, the Topo is indicating, and we've been on the ground to, to see, uh, that it's basically a large flat area. It then slopes down gently into this natural valley and actually slopes back up toward the center of the property and you actually have the edge of a large ridge. So you have a big flat area here. As you continue to the southwest, it slopes down to that little creek bed, little gravel creek bed. Um, and that's very likely not to be a year-round creek. We haven't walked down to see it, um, but indications are it's, it's probably just a seasonal or a wet weather creek like most creek beds in this area. But I mean, it's really, it's gonna be really cool. Every creek bed that we've explored, you'll find some, some cool stuff. Uh, you'll likely find some rock features and um, just some interesting stuff there if you want to go check it out. So the thing I like about this property is it's got the, the good amount of road frontage. Uh, you've got to be off 100. You've got to be 100 feet off the road to to build and, and do your thing because that's a setback. But you've got plenty of a flat area for that. In fact, if we use the measurement tool here, um, I mean you've got this shows about 250 feet before it really starts to slope. So lots of room there. Um, but if you want to be really private, you could create your own little trail in here to this large flat area on the ridge. And now you're set back several hundred feet off the road, completely out of sight. Um, and you're, you're very likely, if you look at the way this land slopes down, you're very likely to have views off to the west, off to the north, uh, off to the south and southwest, and then uh, walk down the hill if you want to check out the little creek bed. So, I mean, there's a lot of, a lot of good stuff going on with that. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, the tracks at Chalk Bluff were logged uh, some recently and some a few years ago. This particular track was logged a few years ago. Uh, it was not clear cut. Check out the drone video to, to see exactly how it looks. But I did want to point out uh, that this aerial map, this base map, is a Google map. And it's actually a couple years old. Um, if you look to the west at this, this thick timber on the property, that has been recently logged. So this map is kind of flip-flopped from reality. Uh, if you look at the drone video, you'll see what we mean in that um, this area that shows the big timber uh, was logged very heavily and very recently. This area that looks like recent logging has actually had a couple years of growth since this uh, uh, base map was done. So uh, again, look at the drone videos. Uh, those tell the tale really nicely. Um, they're from just this last fall, so they, they show, it, show the property well, I think. Okay, let's zoom out a little bit. Okay, let's zoom out quite a bit actually, and we'll show you the route to, to the property. Okay, there we go. So in the upper right corner here, that's the town of Eminence. If you were coming from Eminence, you would take Highway 106 to the west uh, for three, four miles. You would go south on Highway E for a mile, then go west on County Road 412, and that's a gravel road. There's a lot of gravel to get to this property, about six miles of gravel. So you go west on 412, Follow that down into the conservation area where it's still gravel, but it becomes a forest road. So they're a little more narrow. You've got to slow down a little bit. And then meander through the conservation area all the way to uh, the Chalk Bluff uh, area. And once you enter Chalk Bluff, you go a few hundred feet. You'll see the property on the left. 
Uh, there should be a sign um, on one of the trees to indicate tract 38 so that you'll know that you're there. Uh, but definitely uh, print out all the maps and whatnot from the listing. Uh, very helpful. Uh, we can send you this interactive map, and if you get the, uh, the MapRite app, uh, which all our guys use on their phones, I use it on my phone every day, uh, it's a free app that you get from the App Store or from the, I guess, the Android Store. And uh, if you have that, uh, we can have MapRite send you the link for this particular map. Uh, so you'll get an email from MapRite, open it up, uh, click the link, and it'll say, do you want to open this map in your app? And you'll say yes. It'll open up, and it'll have this interactive map, plus there'll be a, a little blue dot or red dot or whatever showing exactly where you are or where your phone is. Um, so you can, you can track yourself. You can see if you're going the right way. If you get turned around, you can find your way again. Uh, it's, it's so fantastic. Um, we use it every single day on basically every single property. Um, obviously, you can get to the property without it. People have been fine for thousands of years without the MapRite app. But if you do have the time to download it, um, uh, it's, it's really nice. It really is. And then when you get to the property, it'll show the boundaries. And you can basically walk the boundaries uh, very precisely uh, by, by just holding your phone and looking at that. So super cool. Uh, we'll zoom way out really quickly here. Okay. So if you look to the left side of the screen, that's Springfield, Missouri. That's the largest city in southern Missouri. That's where our office is. Uh, if we were headed to the property today, we'd just go east on Highway 60. For about an hour and a half, we'd pass Mountain View, which is the closest Walmart. Uh, we'd pass the little town of Birch Tree. And then a couple miles after that, we'd go north on Highway E for 10 or 12 miles, go west on County Road 412, the gravel road, and proceed to the property. So, um, oh, by the way, this the shaded, the colored areas on this map are uh, land that's open for public use. So the light blue areas are uh, likely state forest or state conservation land. The purple areas are the Ozark National Scenic Riverway, um, and the light green areas are the Mark Twain National Forest. So, I mean, you've got tens of thousands of acres of public land here in the Ozarks, uh, which is why people come from across the country to, to hang out here, uh, to hunt and camp and play, and uh, we love it, and we'd love to share it with you. So uh, check us out at instantacres.com. If the property is still available, that's where you'll see it. Um, if, if it's not available, then sorry, you missed it, but uh, give us a call or email us at sales at instantacres.com, and we'll hopefully uh, find the right property for you. instantacres.com.